Welcome to this new add-on spotlight. In this add-on spotlight, we're gonna look at, I would say, an airport package, which also is a scenery pack. I'm talking about the Great Barrier Island Overhaul Airport and some surrounding airports. Uh, all the airports are, I would say, regional airports, right? They're not national airports. Uh, as you can see, they only, or this one, which is the, uh, one called uh, the Great Barrier Aerodome, also uh, known under the ICAO code uh, November Zulu uh, Golf Bravo. Runway 10 and runway, let me speed up it a bit. And runway 28, uh, you can see that it also looks like there is another runway, but actually, <laughs> As far as I figured out, it's not a runway. Uh, maybe it was in the past, uh, but it ends up at, I would say, the terminal. <laughs> but we're not talking about a big terminal, but really a small one. As you can see, uh, you can park your airplanes here. But for example, I use the CRG 500 and you can see it's almost uh, in the bushes. So be aware that the airport is not too big. Um, Facilities are there, right? So there's a pushback uh, truck available and there's parking spots available. Uh, would, to be honest, I didn't see uh, refueling, let's say facility here, but yeah, probably there's someone close uh, in the neighborhood, hopefully. Uh, there's some minor details like the, uh, the wind uh, sack and of course some nice sunshine which is also really cool because it's very close to the beach and as already mentioned it's on an island right so if you would take off here you've got i would say a beautiful scenery which you can use to fly around this was the first one because the next one is okiwi station airfield so let me switch to that one i need to go to the main menu uh, then i'll show it to you and uh, Okiwi Station Airfield, uh, the ICAO code is uh, November Zulu Oscar X-Ray. There you have it. Uh, then I will make sure that the flight conditions are set correctly. Uh, here's the air airport, right? So here's the Great Barrier Island. And you can see that this one is on the top. It looks like on the top of a mountain or something. Or is it? No. It's just a little bit lighter. But hmm, interesting, interesting. Well, let's see. So we're going to place the air aircraft on uh, ramp number two. And then fingers crossed that we've got enough room. Because it looks like that this is also a small airport. Um... It's uh, located near a village uh, Okiwi on the Great Barrier Island. Uh, there's a single uh, bitumen runway and a small terminal, uh, which is uh, in the form of a wooden hut. So let's see how that, this one looks like. And again, this pack consists of multiple um, airports, right? This is the second one. We will look at one other one after uh, this one. So we're gonna go to the outside because we're not interested in the aircraft. You can see that the aircraft, well, <laughs> there's still some room left. Uh, this one has a refueling station, as you can see. And there's also the wooden hut, uh, which I just, just described where you can, uh, let's say, place your passengers. Uh, runway 36 is on this end. Um, actually, it's lazy in the water, as, uh, as you can see. So let's speed up a bit. Um, so it was not on the mountain. And then we've got runway 18 on this end. As you can see, there's, uh, I would say, a lot of grass around it. So you can use the grass or you can use the end of the runway to make the turn. Uh, be aware that this airport is, I would say, pretty small, like the other one. Uh, the CRG 500 probably can be used to take off but I would say bigger than that uh, could be a challenge. Maybe the CRG uh, 500 is already a challenge. But let's see. 
Uh, as you can see, the scenery is pretty nice, including some uh, mountains where it looks like that there's some snow on the mountains, which is uh, cool. And it lays into a bay, uh, which is part of the island itself. That was the second one. So let's go to the last island and the last island, which is or the last airport, which is uh, part of this pack is a Moto uh, Kaikuru airstrip. Name already tells it airstrip, so it's probably really small. It's known under the Ekao code November Zulu Kilao Delta. So let's load it. Uh, let's make sure that the time is set correctly. Uh, we're going to define ramp 4 as our parking or say departure point. Um, this was or this airstrip is laying on the uh, Kaikuru Island, formerly known as the Selwyn Islands. Uh, lays on the irregularly shaped bay on the western side of the Great Barrier Island in the Harakuri, no, Haraki Gulf in New Zealand. Uh, it's uh, 90 kilometers northeast of Auckland. Uh, as you can see, a lot of nature around us. Uh, again, go outside. Uh, in this case, you can see that the parking spot is pretty small because our CRG is uh, almost hidden under the trees. And here we've got the airstrip. Uh, based on this, you can see that this one is uh, even smaller compared to the other uh, airports. And I'm would say I'm doubting if this would even be suitable for the uh, CRG uh, 500. There's a bus which uh, will probably bring the passengers to you. Um, and as mentioned, it's in the uh, middle of an uh, island. Right, so here you can see. So here are, is the other island, right? Which we just visited. And below us is the small airport uh, or airstrip, which doesn't have any functionalities. So uh, be aware of that. And there's nothing available. You can't review, etc. One important thing is that this add-on comes with, I'd say, comes in two, two versions. One is the ORBX uh, mesh support, and that can only, only be used uh, with the ORBX uh, mesh uh, functionality. And one is the, I would say, can be used without the ORBX mesh uh, support. So make sure that you're putting the correct folders into your community folder, else it may not work. Here ends this and on spotlight where we looked at the three beautiful airports and was well, actually i should say two beautiful airports and one airstrip uh near to the great barrier island uh in new zealand if you're a fan of new zealand then these are definitely three airports which you want to add to your flight simulator installation here ends this video. I hope you liked it. If you liked it, then consider to use the like button. If you've got questions or comments, then feel free to post them in the comment box below. And if you want to stay up to date about new videos I'm posting, then consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.